Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Sunday evening update on this Sunday, December 7th. Sorry for a little bit of a late start here, getting a lot of stuff ready, but I'm Justin Lowe, your host and executive director of the Immortality Institute. The Sunday evening update is the place to get all your news and views of life extension from around the world. Yeah, we have guests every week luminaries and big thinkers from the world of technology and life extension and this week we have Dr. Ben Gertzel of Novamente. He's the CEO of Novamente. That interview will be coming up in just a few minutes. But first, I want to get to a little bit of news. You know, we haven't had a Sunday evening update program uh, for a couple of weeks. It was at Convergence Conference in the middle of November and then the Thanksgiving holiday. A couple weekends I was gone out of town, so sorry about that. But now hopefully we'll have a couple more episodes before Christmas time. So, next week and the 21st of December, I'm hoping to have a show as well. So, we'll have your interview with Dr. Ben Gertzel, all about artificial intelligence and life extension, uh, coming up in just a few minutes. But first, like we usually do, I want to talk about our Folding at Home team because there's big news. Yeah, it looks like we're going to reach the top 100 in the rankings before the end of the year. The Longevity Meme team is, of course, uh, the team that the Immortality Institute supports with the Folding at Home prize. And we've moved up to spot 101. One more spot and we'll be on the front page, the first page of all the statistic sites that cover Folding at Home. Boy, what a project it has been. We started in April and our team was only producing 20,000 points a day. Now we're up to 233,000 points per day. Uh, thanks to all of your hard work, everyone out there. And, uh, of course, uh, to the prize. Giving away money every quarter helps out a little bit. And I just wanted to let you take a look at how we stack up against a couple of other teams there. And you can see that we are at, uh, we're only 6.9 days away from overtaking Extreme Resources, that folding team. However, Faster Than Light, that team is producing a million points a day. They're going to pass us up. So we're actually going to stay take one step back but then eventually reach the top 100 by December 18th. That's the prediction. If you watch in the forums, uh, the uh, prediction is that we will uh, reach the top 100 by December 18th. If everyone kicks in their computers, uh, it looks like we'll have uh, uh, our success here before the end of the year reaching the top 100. And hopefully next year we get some bigger prize money. We'll reach the top 50. You know, that's a, that's a good goal, I think. And uh, I think uh, DNA and Mechanic, he was saying... Uh, hopefully we can reach the top 10 by 2010, or maybe that was Maestro. Okay, next item up, of course, is a new forum at the Immortality Institute, and that is Helping Members, Charity for Members. And you can see here, if you go to the forums, in the Immortality Institute forum, there's a sub-forum called Helping Members Now. You can check it out, and this is for charity, for other people that... Uh, oh, uh, for, other, for people who are in trouble who need uh, some help and one person is the first immortal of course who has had cancer and it's the small cell lung cancer very uh, it's a it's a bad situation it's a sad situation he's not doing that well but we have collected a lot of money for uh, his supplements uh, alternative therapies and for a possible cryonic suspension so check out the helping members sub forum and you'll get all the details on how you can donate and help out other Immortality Institute members and in their battles perhaps with illness or other things. So check that out. Uh, what about the hot news this week? Well, what the most interesting thing I found was uh, new research uh, that indicates that bodies perhaps have some dormant stem cells that are not used very often. They did a little experiment here with mice and they found that there were some adult stem cells that only uh, divide four times within the lifespan of a mouse. But if there was a severe injury, these uh, stem cells were found within the bone marrow. If there's a severe injury, all of a sudden they replicate like mad and they can replace the entire blood system uh, with just this uh, reserve unit of stem cells. So we have regular stem cells that turn over about once a month or divide, replicate once a month, but these seem to be just uh, waiting and lying uh, in wait for when there might be some serious injury or serious disease. So that's an interesting uh, little interesting uh, nugget of news this week. What about our 
uh, Convergence Conference. I mentioned that earlier on. We don't have any videos as of yet for the Convergence Conference uh, that I have found on the website, on the convergence.com uh, or dot .org, convergence.org website. Um, but I'm sure there will be some soon. Well, the fellow there who, was, who uh, taped the, the UABBA uh, conference, he was at Convergence 08, and he's usually pretty good about getting those videos up. So I just got to contact him, or contact James Clement, see if we can get some videos from Convergence 08. And if you check uh, in the events, go to the Immortality Institute subforum events, you'll see some Convergence coverage there. A lot of pictures, discussion, but also from the UABBA conference at UCLA from earlier this year. All of the videos are now available, so check that under the events subforum as well. You can watch some of those videos. A lot of interesting stuff. And now we're going to go to a segment of the program that, you know, we always talk about life extension, right? We're always talking about new research and new, uh, you know, diet techniques, supplements, uh, d you know, uh, exercise, ways to stay healthy, but you always got to watch out for the snake oil. And I've been thinking recently, you know, we usually have the snake oil segment first in the show, but perhaps we should have it after the guest. I don't know. But this week I prepared the snake oil segment here uh, for uh, this time of the program, so let's take a look. And it is losing weight, diet pills, right? Weight loss diet pills. They've been around forever, it seems. And I don't know if I should call them all snake oil. However, they've been around, and Americans spend hundreds of millions of dollars on diet pills every year, and yet the country as a whole has been getting more obese year after year after year after year. If these diet pills worked, hmm, you'd think the opposite would be true, given the amount of money that's spent on these diet pills. And, of course, there's all kinds of different uh, diet pills. You know, you probably heard the ones for Hootia. Uh, here's losing stomach fat, you know, they always advertise university researchers discover nutrient which dissolves belly flab. Yeah, there's always some researcher developing something. And here's here's one. Look at this is an interesting one. Look at the name. Anoretics. Anoretics. Now were they purposely trying to make a play on the word anorexic when they're trying to sell this diet pill? I think that one's kind of funny. Uh, they have that actually. Uh, a, a, as a name of their diet pill. And of course, this is another one that's supposed to help you lose all kinds of uh, weight right away. And here's Gluco Health, you know, burns fat, burns sugar, sugar control, something like that. Well, if you search around the internet, you'll find all kinds of diet pills everywhere. And I don't, and, and again, I don't want to say that they're all snake oil uh, out there, all the diet pills, because there are many different formulations. There's many things that probably enhance your metabolism or burn some fat. Uh, but, it, you know, it's, there's certainly some that don't work out there. I'm sure there are some that have been kind of fingered by the FDA that uh, they might have had to reduce their claims of weight loss. But the other problem is people probably do not use the diet pills as they should, you know, or perhaps they take the diet pill and then they eat a tub of ice cream because they think, hey, I'm on the diet pill. Now I can eat all the ice cream I want. Or maybe they don't exercise, you know. There's a lot of reasons for the obesity epidemic in the United States. But if all these diet pills worked as they were advertised, I would think we would see a lot thinner people here in the United States. Well, take a look here. Time for the interview with Ben. And I see people are conversing with Ben in the uh, chat room already. That's great. And remember, as we go along here in the chat, you know, I haven't been following the chat uh, at the time we're going, people who are watching this video uh, in the future, there's a text chat that runs concurrently with the video and audio stream. So I'll be referring to the text chat from time to time and I'll try and repeat any questions that people might have. And uh, of course, we always encourage a lot of questions uh, for the guests that are here 